Hi everyone, hope you're doing amazing today. We're doing really well, thank you. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Carolina Fonseca Jimenez. I focus on doing children's books that promote love, unity, and peace. And also, we interpret dreams here. The reason that we're interpreting them is because it's a way for us to connect with our subconscious, but we're also sharing them because when we share them, we're connecting with one another on a more profound level. So, okay guys, this week we've gotten a ton of dreams and I've gotten kind of, I've done like a summary, right, of the most um, frequently asked dreams for this week so we can interpret those and then we will go on to our weekly message. Okay. So let's remember, whenever we're dreaming something, it's always our subconscious that is really kind of helping build this dream, okay? So a lot of the time when you're receiving dreams and when you're receiving these vivid images, a lot of the time they're coming from your subconscious, okay? All right, guys, so this uh, week, a lot of you have been having dreams of people that, um, you know, you're hanging out with people, you're having dinner with them, you're working with them, or you're playing a game with them. But the interesting thing is that the people that you're around in your dream, are people that you don't actually like and you don't actually get along with in your waking life, okay? So what does it mean when we're dreaming about people that we don't get along with and they're in our dream space? What does that mean, okay? All right, this is the most, um, this is one of the most important dreams, I think, because remember, the subconscious is showing us what is at our deepest level, what are our most honest and most truest feelings, okay? So whenever they are being brought up in this way and we're seeing the people that we don't like and that we, um, for whatever reason, just don't get along with and they're coming into our dream space, it's an alert, okay? It's an alert, an alert that we have something to learn from these people, okay? Let's start with the first one. Uh, the person that dreamt that they were playing a game with these people that they didn't really enjoy being with in their waking life, okay? Let's reflect that. Whenever you're dreaming of just playing any kind of game, okay, you can reflect that outward because a lot of the time it's, this is how I'm feeling. I'm feeling like I'm playing a game with this person or these group of people. I'm against you, you're against me, and I'm reflecting that into my dream state, okay? So that is why in my dream state, I'm playing a game against you, and yes, we're having a good time, but it's still a game and it's still a competition, okay? So that's simply just a reflection of what you're feeling like. You're feeling like your relationship with these people is a game in your waking life, okay? So that's the first part of it, okay? But now let's think of this deeper. Whenever you are in your waking state, okay, and you come across people that for whatever reason you don't get along with, the bigger question is not, um, it's not about them, right? It's not about, I don't like this person because X, Y, and Z. I don't like, do, 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 right? It's not about us externalizing it and determining what we don't like about that person. It's more of questioning ourselves and saying, you know, why is this bothering me so much? Because they're showing me something. So whatever it is that they're showing me is bothering me at a very subconscious and deep level. That is why I'm dreaming about them. But why is it bothering me so much, right? It's not about them, it's about you because you are the dreamer, you are the one having these images in your dream, okay? So remember, whenever you have this dream, just accept it with loving energy and just think, what is it inside of me that's bothering me so much about this person? Because sometimes, um, some of you have told me that there are these particular people in your life that you don't actually really hang out with or anything, but you have this image of them and you just don't like them very much, right? But remember guys, whenever we are around anyone in our waking life, they are there to show us something, okay? And remember, the feelings that, that you're feeling when you're awake, it's just a reflection, right, of that subconscious, okay? So if you're feeling uncomfortable, insecure, or whatever around this person, it's not what's wrong with this person. It's what's wrong inside of me that I'm feeling this way, right? Because I'm the one feeling this way, I'm the one interpreting it this way, okay? And that's a way to take your power back also, okay? So let's look at it that way. Let's not point fingers, but let's let's keep it here and let's ask ourselves those questions, okay? Now, whenever you're dreaming about being surrounded with people that you don't actually like uh, in your waking life, and let's say you're working with them, okay? Because some of you said you were working with them. Okay, that is, a, that is a really great message actually because it means that we have something to learn from these people, okay? We always have something to learn from people even if um, they bother us, they annoy us, whatever because these feelings are coming up because there is something that we need to work through, okay? Any kind of, any time that you have these deep feelings come out <clears throat> and you're feeling insecure, you're feeling one of those feelings that you just don't like, it's a warning sign and it's a warning sign that there's something to work in me Okay, there's something I need to work inside of me so that way I can see this with more loving eyes, okay? Because that is actually the biggest message of all is that 
I am judging you, right? I am judging this person. I am judging this situation. I am not looking at it with loving eyes. All right. And something that was really interesting and that a couple of you, um, actually most of you did was whenever you were describing your dream, you told me that you were feeling good in that situation. You actually had a good time either having dinner with them or playing that game with them. Or, um, what was the other one? Um, game working oh yeah or or just working with them right so you you felt good doing those things with them and that is your most subconscious part of you your most subconscious part of you in your dream state felt good around them it was accepting the the images and the dream with loving energy with no judgment but what happened you woke up and your ego woke up and your ego was like oh i am not gonna hang out with this person i am not gonna do that with this person and guys that is just a huge message within itself right that when uh, when we have our guard down, we're able to be loving, we're able to open up our hearts and our mind to receive this information and to learn from these people that bother us in our waking life, okay? But what happens once the ego wakes up, it's like, oh no, that's not happening, right? So guys, that message is huge. That is actually one of the most important ones, I think, that we've talked about so far, right? It's taking that same energy from your dream state that same uh non-judgmental the same loving energy the same energy that's like where you've let go of everything that that's resistance right you've left go of the resistance that's how you are in your dream state okay let's carry that same energy to your waking life if you were to operate your waking life with no resistance with increase to love and just acceptance how amazing would your life be you would be able to be in any situation and learn from these people even if they bother you right because you understand that what they're showing you and what's bothering you so much about them it's not them right it isn't them it's me why is this affecting me what is going on here where i'm letting that affect me that's the bigger question okay and i think that that's amazing because really it just shows us how powerful we are and how powerful our mind is okay so again guys we use our dreams to bring these things to our um to our awareness right our subconscious is bringing these things up to our awareness so whenever you're having a dream like that let's let's just think of it with loving energy and let's just show loving energy to it right okay because if not let me tell you something if we don't learn from this situation and from these people that bring us discomfort guess what the world is going to bring you more of those people why because we have to learn from them and if we don't learn from them it's going to happen again and again and again have you ever asked yourself you know why is it that i attract these people in my life how come i'm surrounded by people like this that cause me anxiety that cause me this that cause me that it's because that is why that is what we need we need that because we haven't learned from that okay as soon as you learn from it and i mean deeply learn from it and accept it you will move on you will continue your mission in life and you will move on to bigger and greater things okay but first we have to learn from them okay because sometimes we find ourselves in like a rut and we're like this keeps happening over and over why does it keep happening because we haven't learned from it okay i know that because it's happened to me and it's not good i don't wish it upon anybody so that's why i'm telling you Let's learn from it now so we don't have to go through that again, okay? So guys, the message for this week is super simple and that is to drop that resistance that we have. Drop the resistance that we have and incorporate more loving energy into our dreams and into our waking life, okay? If we're able to do that, if we're able to drop that resistance and just operate with more love, unity, and peace like we're always practicing on this channel, it is going to help us be more loving individuals, accepting individuals, and guess what? We are going to have that inside reflect that outward other people will see that and then they can internalize that and share that with the world okay let's just be like contagious with all this loving energy okay <laughs> all right guys so that is the message for this week keep sending your dreams i love helping you interpret them but more importantly you know what we do we try to help each and every person understand their specific dream language because everybody has a different dream language i can always help you interpret your dream but you are the only one that knows what it means on the deepest level okay and guys before we get off i want to let you know April 28th which is on a Sunday I will be at the um it's called the kids festival festival de niño um, it's going to be really awesome it's by one of the Latino magazines right so there's going to be like just a, a cool festival there and we're going to have our table set up there we're going to have Lupita and the magic of Mexico books in English and in Spanish and we will have a bunch of crafts for the kids so it's going to be really fun um so I will see you there I'll post more info down below okay but guys this week let's continue spreading love unity and peace okay I'll see you later bye Thank <music> you.